Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Garry's Mod 9 for free, legally, no additional games required, and also how to include content from games like CSS, episodes, etc. The first step is to install Garry's Mod 9 using the installer, the link for download is in the description. After completing the installation, go to your Steam library and search for Source SDK. You should see a Source SDK base 2006. Install it and once done, go into the properties. In the launch options, type in dash game, in quotation marks, specify the path to your Gmod 9 folder. The default is Steam, Steam Apps, Source Mods, Gmod 9. I recommend adding plus name, your in game name, if you don't fancy playing as a mingeback. For convenience, create a desktop shortcut and name it accordingly. You should be able to boot up the Garry's Mod 9 now. Let's jump into few minor tweaks. Once in game, go to Options, Video tab and adjust the aspect ratio and resolution. Then go into Options once again, Keyboard tab, Advanced and Enable Developer Console. Press the Tiled key right under the Escape key and bind the key for no clip. The comment is shown on the screen. You may want to disable the mouse acceleration by typing in the following. You are now ready to play, but wait a second, I'm going to show you how to mount content from other games. For that you will need a GCF scape, link is in the description. If you don't own the games, you can download the content off of the internet, but be warned, it's not entirely legal nor safe. To extract the content, go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, find the game you want to include and look for the .vpk files. Open the files using GCF scape and select directories like models, materials, sound, etc. Right click the selected folders and press extract, specify the folder where you want the files to go and repeat the process for as many games as you want. I suggest you including the Counter Strike Source and Half-Life 2 deathmatch. Once the files are extracted, go to your gmod9 directory and open gameinfo.txt file. In the search paths section, add game and a path to the extracted files. In my case it will be the gmod9 content cstrike folder and an app2 folder for the episode 2. I've also put a comment line for clarification, but it's optional. Save the file and you're done. The last and optional step is putting some custom maps. To do that just paste the .bsp file into gmod9 maps folder. And that's it! You can finally enjoy playing Garry's Mod 9. If I helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In case of something not working, before disliking the video make sure you have installed SDK Base 2006 and not 2007. Make sure you've typed everything correctly. Also, some people were mentioning this way of getting Garry's Mod is illegal. It's not true. This version of Garry's Mod was the last one that was completely free, released as a mod for Half-Life 2. Everything I've shown to you in this video is legal and legitimate. And that's all in this video. Enjoy your game and remember, only sad frogs dislike. Don't be a sad frog, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.